actually at a Drew Estate event a couple of years ago. They released the Ratzilla. At that point, anytime you bought a purchase, you got your name in a drawing. And my name got pulled up, and a buddy of mine's wife was upstairs and called me upstairs as if my name had been called. And I thought my gift was going to be an ashtray or something like that. So I ran to the table, and JD ran over and gave me a hug and said, No, you've won a trip to the Cigar Safari. <laughs> want to make it fresh, not to give too many spoilers, but some of the things they did fresh this year is they delved a little bit more into the tobacco side of the business. Spent a lot more time in the DE2 facility where last year was just a shell. There's a lot of really cool and new stuff this year which keeps people coming back. aspect of things which was really nice you know seeing Drew Estate 2 after having seen it as a skeleton last year and seeing it you know completed now was probably the thing that stands out most the way that the uh, uh, blending session took place was different uh, also of course a lot of guys were that were here last year were here this year but a lot of folks that we hadn't met last year were here also so I really enjoyed that too <laughs> by the scope of things. I think that uh, a lot of times you go to your local your local cigar shop or you're buying cigars online, but you don't really realize that the people that are involved, I think the sheer magnitude and the scope of what they do. I mean, when you talk about a show, I mean, these guys put on a, a heck of a show. Uh, grade A, bar none, I, I have no complaints. So when the tobacco is hung to dry, uh, the purpose for the tobacco is simple. It's to go from green, yellow, brown, get, finish it brown, dark brown, and the tobacco is going to go from the curing barn to the pillow area, where the tobacco is going to age for six months, a year, year and a half, two years, three years, all depending on who the manufacturer is, and all depending on at what point he wants the tobacco to be ready. Come on, come on. I've never done anything like that. I've never like created my own cigar. Being able to sit in that room and like smell all the tobaccos. And the cool thing about the, the safari was that it started from the very beginning. The seeds take you through the fields. You get to learn about the plants. You learn what you need to know to like make your own one. And then at the end, you get to put that all in the work, which is pretty cool. One of the things that JD did, which I think worked really well, is they brought the leaves around to each person, give them a chance to nose the leaf, smell the leaf, and go down the entire Viso Seco Lijero line so that you, you kind of got a sense of the character of each leaf before you, you made your blending. I think that was a really, really great experience. It, it was just interesting to be able to do that and kind of, you know, smell the stuff and try to figure out like what goes together and you know I think that was that was pretty interesting and I was excited to get you know get our blends and stuff so it's cool. Waiting uh, the other night in Managua with some of the other guys, uh, we were sitting around talking about our wives, girlfriends, whatnot, and what they meant to us. And uh, I just thought, you know, we're out of the country. It's a special time. It's a special place. We're not going to be here again probably anytime soon. So I just wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, and surprise her. I, I love giving her surprises. Maybe they don't work out. But they work she usually the time. Yeah, she usually spoils them. Yeah, you know, but, I get accused of things or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't even realize that was going to happen. So I was very surprised. Todos de pie. Un beso. Han renovado sus votos. Un aplauso.
this is not about color, race, creed, or religion. You can you can enjoy a cigar with your coffee. It doesn't matter. So I think they break they broken down those uh, pre-established barriers that maybe people thought that have held them back in the years and said anybody, uh, you're welcome in, in this great big family. The safari blew my expectations away. It's absolutely ridiculous. The guys here, I've heard they were good guys, but like when you get down here, it's ridiculous how awesome they are.